What's up everyone? DefyNewYork.com here with a brand new video. Today we're looking at the original British Knights Leader High um, from 1988-89. So these retroed back in 2008 and the, the cut on them on the retro was a little bit different than the original. The original is a little higher. Um, the uh, the leather was a little different. Um, it's to be expected, and um, so was the uh, the sock liner material, as well as the insole. The insole actually on the retros, uh, it was more comfortable. I found that the retro was more comfortable, but it's very hard to find today, uh, for whatever reason. And um, I remember back in the day. <clears throat> When um, when I was a kid, now some people were saying that these were like budget shoes, and uh, you know people weren't really rocking with them. But at least when I was, you know, where I was going to school in New York, um, a lot of kids were wearing these, a lot. Um, and it could have been because they were affordable. I you know I don't know, but I do know that for a good two years, like eighty eight to nineteen ninety. British Knights, I saw British Knights a lot. Um, and uh, I, I like them. I just, I, I love, I really like British Knights. And this particular model was, um, you know, one of my favorites. If not really, it's my favorite model of the shoe outside of the, maybe the Ultra. The Ultra Low is, is pretty dope. I like that shoe a lot too. <clears throat> but anyhow, um, the materials on these is, it's not crazy. It's nothing like, I mean, it looks nice, but like the leather right here, it's like a stiff, it looks like it's like a nice soft tumble leather, but it's, it's really stiff. Um, even right on the uppers as well. Um, right here is a little softer, but, um, you can see all the, the rubbers that gives that like three dimensional, <clears throat> look i always love this model it's just it's it's such a dope model and then you just it's like the little details that make the shoe just complete and i always like that little gold bk diamond you know you take that away and yeah it's still a dope shoe but you just add that little extra thing in and it just kind of sets the shoe off got the tongue now in the ogs you can see the uh like, I guess it's like a painted material over here. It's, it just starts to crack. But um, the shoe overall is still wearable. And, uh, you know, like, I don't know if anybody's familiar with the, the Xanthus uh, X-Pro um, that Xavier McDaniel wore. What happens, tends to happen with those shoes is the foam on the insole um, tends to dry, like, dry rot and explode or whatever. And it gets all crumbly, so you have to actually go in there. And if you want to wear them, you have to clean out the whole insole, which is better than you know the whole midsole falling apart. But it's something that you have to do, and it gets really sticky. With these, you don't have that issue. At least not on this pair. Uh, there's really no, there's no foam. It's pretty. It's not too much cushioning. It's just really like the the midsole and the insole, and that's really it. So, <clears throat> as far as sizing, they're pretty true to size. Um, whatever you would wear, your typical shoe, Air Force One, uh, you know, Jordan 5, you know, just go with the knees. Um, and that's pretty much it. Not too heavy, surprisingly. You would think they're pretty heavy. They're not that heavy. Uh, they're actually pretty nice, so... Anyhow, the next part of the video, I'm going to show you what they look like on feet. And also, if you think that this shoe should make a comeback, again, drop a comment. But first, let me show you guys what they look like on feet. See, oh, right, real quick, this is not foam. I know it can give you that look of like foam, like it's going to fall apart, but it's not. So you don't have to worry about that. Anyway, I'm going to show you what they look like on feet. Definitely, definitely, definitely British Knights really needs to retro this shoe. 
before Louis Vuitton does it. Well, re-retro it. We already saw what happened with Avia. Avia slept. Don't sleep on your own designs. You know, sometimes a retro may not work or may, you know, sell slow for one generation and then the next generation, for whatever reason, it just clicks. All right, everyone, so you guys see what they look like on feet. Um, if you guys have any questions, concerns, comments, please feel free to drop me a line. And as always, stay tuned for more videos.